All right, guys, you already saw the view liner accessible uh, room. Now we are going to show you the super liner two accessible bedroom. Okay guys, so this uh, super liner, as you know, is completely different than the view liner. Uh, the ceiling space is going to be a lot shorter. So I'm 5'4 and I can't, uh, I, I can about stretch my whole arm here. So if you're much tall, if you're about six feet, you're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit tall. We'll have Rob maybe measure that here in a little bit when he gets that handy dandy tape measure out. Okay, so let's take a look at the bed portion here. So this is very simple um, to get into. It's going to be very similar setup to in a, a regular roomette. It's basically about this much space here. So this would be uh, about what a regular roomette would be like. So um, first of all, you've got your, your handlebars here, which is great. It's going to help you get up and out of the bed if you need to. And you've got call buttons on both sides. So here's one and then there's one on the other side as well as a reading light. And as I mentioned, you've got the call button here and you've got a reading light here. So these two are going to fold out into a bed. I'll show you that in just a minute. And then the panel on this side is going to show you is going to do the warmer and the cooler now guys um here's the thing is that this isn't going to drastically change the temperature in the room it's going to be a mild difference so don't think if you put it on cold that you're suddenly going to be in a meat locker or if you put it on warm that it's going to be like you know you're laying by the beach okay so just know that there are differences also there is a room air control here you can open or close it so that's going to close that vent up above to change the control of the room. And I can actually see it moving from up he from here. If you're looking at it, you could see the little um, things moving inside, the little shields inside. So the rest of the panel here, you do the temperature control and there is one outlet here. Um, and then there is one over by the sink, which we'll show you in just a minute. So in this room, you've got your one outlet here, just like you would have in a, um, in a regular roomette. And then you've got your, it says music control. And if you've um, seen our review of the roomette, the music control really means that you're controlling the volume of the announcements. So when the conductor or the attendants or the dining car attendants get on and give you announcements, they're going to um, be coming through here. And then at the bottom, you get another call button and you also get the light switch for up above. And so you've got two lights up here. One of them stays on, is a little bit dimmer, and that one stays on for your night light um, at night, okay? So the top bunk is folded down here. So when it's not down, it's like this. So you got quite a bit of space and it snaps into place. So I'm standing here, like I mentioned, I'm 5'4", and I'm standing up here if I wanted to stand here or if I wanna walk around anywhere in the room. Now let's pull that bed down and have a look-see up here. All right, so during the day, the mattress for the lower bunk is stored um, up here very easily and then you got your here make sure if you're the person coming up to the top you're using these up here to buckle yourself in because um, you know there is quite a bit of rocking and rolling on some of these trains and you don't want to roll out obviously into the middle of the night you're gonna end up on the floor okay um, and then the nice thing back here is they do have this netting and the little pocket, which we all know Rob loves these. <laughs> he likes to store his phone, his snacks, headphones, and stuff like that um, for at night for himself. And then, like I said before, this is the mattress that's gonna go down here. I'll show you what that all looks like in a minute, but first we're gonna go to the other side of the room. Before we do that, I'm gonna show you the steps, how to get up here. We're gonna go to the other side of the room and go to the bathroom, or show you the bathroom. So. Steps are exactly the same as in a regular roomette, here and here, and you're right up into the bed. So no ladder required like you would need in a view liner roomette. All right, so here's the bathroom, guys. It's on the other side of the room, directly across from the bed, but see this? People who are thinking, I don't wanna go to the bathroom with someone looking at me. No problem, see you later. 
<laughs> you just close that curtain very simply and then the other person doesn't have to see you going to the bathroom. Um, you can have your privacy and if you need an assistant or something, they can come and help you very quickly. Now, you've got not only this bar here, but you've got this bar here, okay? Um, for accessing the toilet, which it gives you plenty of room too. If you can see here, look at how wide that is. If you've got a wheelchair, this is a wide door here. So you're gonna be able to bring that in and they'll store the chair out here for you. And you'll be able to have access to this very easily guys, because there's a ton of room. We've got a nice big trash can here. And then you've got your sink area here. And here's the other outlet for you tissue and towels, a couple of mirrors, cups for rinsing out your mouth. And there is a, um, a mirror light switch here, turn it on or off right there. Now here's a cool thing that I really like about this room is you've got windows on both sides, guys. So this is about the size lengthwise of, it's the size of the full train. So you're going, you can look on this side or you can look over here as you're sitting. So if something cool is going by on that side and you want to see it, you can go right on over to the other side. Now, I'm going to make up the beds real quick and I want to give you a quick tour of that once I get that all done. So give me just a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so we had to scoot out of the accessible room, but uh, the nighttime setup is actually the same and the same measurements and the same look as the uh, regular roomette. So we're going to give you a tour of that. I'm going to show you here in the roomette what that looks like. So once you have those two bottom seats out, this is what it's going to look like. So this is your bed here and then you are going to be able to bring that mattress down and have it all set up. And again, your attendant will do this for you. So this is the mattress for the lower bunk and the top bunk has got its mattress already built in. Like I showed you earlier is already up there, but this is the one that's going to go down below. So like I said before, the measurements are all the same as in this roomette just that you'll have more space between the beds and the wall. So here is your pillow and I showed you already the basket or the netting and the basket where you can put things um, up above so you can reach those easily. You'll have also access to um, the lights up here as well and these hangers in the corner. So there's quite a bit up here for you. Um, it's just going to be a little less space than you're going to have down below. And then again, don't forget to use these guys. Um, they are to keep you safe up here in the bed. You're just going to hook those in up above. And then when there's rocking and rolling, you are not going to fall out of that bed. So that's the nice thing right there. So let's Go ahead and go over to the shower. Rob's gonna give you guys a tour of what that looks like, um, what that situation is like for you at the shower, and we'll talk about a few other pointers, so hang around. In the accessible bedroom on the Superliner, you do not have the shower in your room, so I'm gonna show you exactly where that is. This is the Viewliner room, and the shower is just two doors down. So right here, you come out, Second door on the left is going to be the shower. I'll show you what that looks like in here. Close this handle, push the lock, of course, over. And then there are some bars in here uh, for you to hold on to. Not a ton, there's no bar on that side. Um, but the shower head does come off, so you can use that like that. And attach that back on. There's a bar there. Um, there are no other bars in here. There is a seat there. I have noticed a lot of times it does have towels and such sitting on it, so you may have to move those over. Um, but they do provide you with the towels. They do provide you with soap. And then when you're done with the towels, you're just going to leave them in here. So uh, you've got the shower area, and then you also have a dressing area to this uh, shower. I'm also going to go ahead and show you right now how difficult it would be to get up to the upper level of the Superliner, which is where the dining room is and the observation car would be. So 
If you're in the uh, accessible bedroom, you're gonna come out your door, go up past the two bathrooms, and go up the stairs. And uh, I have measured the stairwell. It is 24 inches wide, so you can decide if that's uh, too narrow for you to get up or not, but I'm gonna show you what it would look like to do that right now. So that's 24 inch stairwell wide, and there are two turns to negotiate. So, uh, you know, you have to have a little bit of mobility to be able to do that because not only do you have to go up, you have to go around two corners to get to that upper level. So you might be thinking, what if you can't get up to the upper level? You do always have the option of having all of your meals delivered to your room. And if you're on the West Coast routes right now, you'll be getting traditional dining, so they can also deliver that to your room as well. Uh, one last thing is how you'll get on and off the train. There's two different methods they have to help you. One is a yellow stool, and another is a ramp. So let me show you what those look like. Here's a stool they set out, and this is a ramp right here. They use that ramp if anyone has uh, a wheelchair or can't walk to get out.